whole number. The set of natural numbers along with zero forms the collection of whole numbers. Whole numbers equals zero, one, two, three. One does not have a predecessor within natural numbers, as zero is not there in natural numbers. One minus one equals zero. But one has a predecessor in within whole numbers. Closure property. Whole numbers are closed under addition, and also under multiplication. This means when you add, or multiply two whole numbers you get a whole number. 7 into 8 equals 56, a whole number 5 and 2 5 equals 25, a whole number 7 plus 8 equals 15, a whole number 5 plus 5 equals 10, a whole number 6 minus 2 equals 4, a whole number 7 minus 8 equals not a whole number. Commutative property of addition, change in the order in which you add does not change the sum. 5 plus 3 equals 3, plus 5 equals 8. Commutative property of multiplication. You can multiply two whole numbers in any order 5 and 2 3 equals 3 and 2 5 equals 15. Distributive property. The sum of the products of a whole number with two other whole numbers is equal to the product of the whole number with the sum of the two other whole numbers. This is called the distributive property of multiplication over addition. Let us study some properties, where we combine both addition and multiplication. Let us take three whole numbers, say 3, 5, and 7. Let us first add 3, and 5, and multiply the answer by 7. I.e., 3, plus 5, into 7 equals 8, into 7 equals 56. Now let us first multiply each of 3, and 5, with 7, and then add the answer i.e., 3 and 2 7, plus 5 and 2 7, equals 21, plus 35 equals 56. We get the same answer. So addition distributes itself over multiplication. Identity property of addition. If you add 0 to a number, you get the same number. 0 is called the identity of addition. Identity property of multiplication. If you multiply a number by 1, you get the same number. 1 is called the identity of multiplication. Any number multiplied by 0 equals 0, 